What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. So two things I want to mention. First of all, how's the lighting? How's the lighting? I switched up some things. One light is over here, one light is over there. Things are a little bit more balanced out right now, I feel. Another thing, there was a glitch in the game. There, I, I know I talked about it at the end of the previous video, but there was a glitch in this game that for some reason I was... Okay, so you guys can see the footage now, obviously. But I was over in this section trying to figure stuff out, stuff out and I kept dying. We have the M already over there because I had to, you know, I just thought, okay, let me figure this out. If there's a glitch, I'll figure that out as well. But it was, yeah, it was a little bit chaotic at the end of last, uh, at the end of the last video. So I thought I'd take care of that. It stayed on a screen where there was constant growling. I don't know what that's about. Also no makeup. Hi. Clear face today. What's going on? How are you? Wasn't there a lot of more of the rot there on her arm before than us? What? Where'd the rock go? <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. Where did it go? Wasn't her arm covered in rot last time? No, seriously. Like, for real, for real. Like, where did it all go? Did the game decide to give me a break and be like, okay, you know, we're gonna take out that little rot there. You know, we're just gonna take it off just a little bit. Let's go be clean. Then let's go. You know what? Rotten be damned. Let's go. Dillian. She can't help but think of him. The tender oh, guy in the flame in the world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Oh, damn, Sigurd it's handy again. Rhaenyra, People are really getting handy up in there. Hello, 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 hands. Hello, hello. Give me a hand, won't you? <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Oh, gosh. treasure. Oh no, I'm I'm claustrophobic. I don't like small spaces. To run and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Come back to me. Come back. Do you hear me? I hear you. Come back to me. I'm coming for you. Wait, wait, where's where's no no oh no oh no oh no oh go go the light 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 there you go there you go what no. What? You're not taking it from me. It looks like a rat. Oh, she found his head. Lovely. I am leaving with him. How do we have to fight this dude? Okay, sounds good. Okay, looks like we're doing this. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> Damn it. See, I think the game would be absolute hell if I didn't have this ability over here. Set that every single time. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Tamed the beast. Okay, well. Well, I got my answer. There you go. Oh. My God. Oh. oh, no. We 
people think of evil. Oh, we're not dead. Okay, cool. Invisible force. And so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Oh no. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, Lena. Well, at least we got his head back. She will say. <gasps> oh. Even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. Or without it. I fear you would have let go of this life. All this time, I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the to trust you as deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Oh wow. Okay, this is gonna be intense and I'm ready for it. Oh, so the rot is returned all the way back up to our arms. Interesting. Okay. Also I found out that this game has permadeath. If you um if you die before the the ending time of the game, then uh, then you're dead. Hello, 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 okay. Hello, 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 hey, hey, okay. I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hella's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. So it's coming to terms of accepting who you are as a human being. She can do it. There we go. You see, even the voices inside your own head, they, they doubt you and they try to say you can't, but really, honestly, you can. You can. Yeah. Oh wait, is she gonna jump? Is she gonna jump? Oh god, she's gonna jump. Is she gonna? How? Wait. Is there something else that we have to do? Oh, there are still other bits that you have to do over there. So, some way or another, I have to get over there. That's gonna be very tricky. I love these puzzles, but seriously, can't you just let me fight the boss battle? <laughs> we love the world when it falls into ruin, don't we, kids? Oh, 
I hear people screaming stuff. See, th these are the different ways you have to cross in order to put the pieces back together, I feel. How can I put all these pieces back together? There's so many of them. There are two sections that you need to put back together. Or maybe like whenever you're crossing the bridge, that's when you put them back together, but I'm not sure entirely. <gasps> Ooh, new area goals. Yes, on it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh! Another rock thing. I know I missed already two of them, so I'm not gonna get the achievement, but still. The gods will fight the last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. This voice actor is so good. Seriously, he is just epic, honestly. Can I focus on you? Up, up, up. There we go. <laughs> yes, of course I did it, child. Oh, oh, I didn't see this area. I get so excited about new areas all the time, honestly. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I see things hanging from the ceiling. Okay. Let's go. Uh, oh my gosh. You are... You took me by surprise, you. I think we're gonna be good. 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 There we go. Perfect. My hands are sweating, but we're perfect. We're good. What will she do? How is she going to find it out just so? Just let it keep on the silence. How will she get it? Wait, where are we supposed to go? I think I have to go back down over there. She can take Dillian's soul and lay him to rest. Hello. Hello. She can get his soul back. She's so close to saving Dillian. She can do it. She just has to be prepared to fight. Wait, what about that other door that was over here? Okay, so I'm guessing we have to go back through over here. Okay, maybe I have to cross it through here this time. This is a sacrifice. Okay, I'm guessing we just have to cross it and line it up over here. She's found a way. But I'm not sure. She can see. She must align herself. She can do it. That's the door. She aligns herself. It's there. Wait, where am I supposed to yeah, I know it's there, but I still need to align myself, and I was already up there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, I see what it's doing. I see what it's doing. That's so cool. That is so cool. And now we can align the rest of the bridge. Am I supposed to go over here? Oh, I knew it, 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 I knew it. I knew it. Don't let them surround you. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, we are good. Do you see, these things are more exhausting than the actual boss battle themselves. Jesus. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. We're good. We got this. We got this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel a change in the winds. 
A change in the sea. Ahoy matey. We're changey. I'm, I mean, I'm nervous about the last boss battle. I mean, you know, and also other processes as a human that we have to undergo and face in our lives. But still, I'm nervous about this boss battle. <laughs> Which leads me to believe that the game is trying to be nice and being like, oh, we're not gonna permadeath you. We're not gonna permadeath you at all whatsoever. And then, you know, out of nowhere, it'll just permadeath me. The fact that this game does have permadeath from sources that I've heard and things that I've read online, I love it. Because it gives kind of like a, a, a finite reality to the entire thing. Um, which is pretty cool, and the fact of the matter is is that if you have permadeath in a game, like I said, it delivers a sense of urgency within the universe of the game. We're just going over a bridge over troubled water. Yes! No! No! I said no! I said no! I said no! 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 Oh, you stupid! Go ahead! He looks like he shops at the tall and big store. Okay. Oh, there are several, there are several, there are several. Oh god. There we go. Come on. Are we good? Are we good? Do the dance that is called the focus, and you too shall acquire great strength and persistence of our weapons that take us a while to achieve because we're here to do. There we go. 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 Please, just let it be this time. Okay, got this. We got this. We got this. Sorry if I'm a little bit silent with the thing. Oh god. Yes, I know I'm close. Can you please shut up and let me have this moment voices in my head that's lingering? Oh god. They won't shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. What? What happens when she Oh. Oh. I'm excited. I can't run. We'll all die someday. I don't want to die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. Stand back. Stop. Stop her. Ah, stop her. Stop. Senua, stop. 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 Why would she stop to die? She would stop. 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 I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. What is this? Please stop. Please stop. We'll never come back if you go there. There is nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. They were right about me. This is fascinating. Listen to me, not them. Whoa. They were afraid. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. That's pretty powerful stuff that they just did right there. That's... wow. Uh, it's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within 
Memories you cannot defeat. Cannot escape. This is her hell. Fascinating stuff. This is what I have so much I want to talk about. I just don't want to talk over a lot of it. Oh, wait. Wait, is that her mother? She has nothing to fear anymore. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hands. You killed her. It is the will of the gods. Fuck the gods! You did this to her! Why? This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you, too. You understand, Sam. This is what happens when people back in the old times couldn't understand mental illness. They tried to explain it as a defiance of the gods, and it's... wow. This is really powerful. I do understand. You cursed me with your own madness. I was just a child. You created this darkness! You created this darkness so you could hide behind it! Whoa, that looks so cool. Oh damn, I didn't think she would just appear automatically like that. You are alive! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Oh, so that's the voice that we hear is her father. To fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her. You killed her. The rituals, the years of isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. is so intense and beautiful this time it's just like a an I don't know it, it's hard to put into words really like the way the music is done is this kind of flow if you will of a person's emotions she, she's taking them out left and right see something I, I need to pause it really quickly the thing is is that with this game um, I, I can't wait to see this because I, I know I'm gonna forget it honestly it shows the the step in 
kind of the human progression of the mind and how this game is accomplishing self-realization and self-actualization through the process of finding out more of who you are through outside circumstances is really fascinating. But this game is fascinating in the way that it deals with coming to your own mortality, coming to terms with you know, life and death and everything surrounding it. It's absolutely beautiful. I just want to say that <laughs> before we continue on. But yeah, it's amazing. Come on, hello. You are mad. What's going on, girly? Oh, crap. Oh, no. I tried to save you from yourself. You saw them that is a lie. The plague of darkness. The butchering of the nearby animals, men. You saw it yourself. You told everyone I was cursed. They believed you. I believed you. Tell me, Senua. Where is Dillian so with the darkness is alive? How you save him? He's here. I know he's here. Dillian, I know you're here. Hold on. I'll find you. Oh, and she's fighting uh, past bosses. Interesting. Oh, this is fascinating. She's going through the memories of them, which is really cool. Yeah, she's going through past boss battles. This is fascinating. this game is just developed in terms of story, in terms of how cohesive it is. And the music, can we just talk about the music for a second? Wow, yeah, that's really, really cool that they're using this, like the past boss battles, in order to be the final step before you get to Hella. That is really cool. That is amazing. That is so well done. Damien! Where is he? You're trying to trick me again with your lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. You have him. Dillian is gone. Dillian is dead. Let him go. Behind you. For what? What can he do to me that you haven't already? Fight me. You betrayed the gods in search of Dillian, in search of love. You barely even no, hear the voices anymore that she has. You. dead right now or dying multiple times more than I have already. This is this is amazing. Watch out. Achievement unlocked the final battle confront Hella. Oh we did it. Oh we didn't die. Oh <laughs> Oh. Wait, was that the boss battle? Was that the boss battle? So you had to confront Hela's minions, not Hela herself? Wait, I'm confused. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh. 
Oh, oh, she didn't lose her lover's head again. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, the rod is reaching to her head. You're alive. And there's no darkness. And you never took him from me, did you? And I can't save Darian. to me, to confuse me and deceive me. But I know it's him. I know you have him. I'll give you my life. That's what you want, isn't it? Take it. I'll be a, I'll be a slave for you. I'll fight with you at Ragnarok. It's very interesting how they portray the darkness as a female. Very interesting. I know I say that a lot during this game playthrough, but it is very interesting that the darkness is a female. And that she's just staring upon Senua's kind of self-destruction in her terms. That's strong. I like that. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe no power. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. But there's a second game. How is it that she's that she dies? I don't know how to wait, you know. 
be afraid of death, Sarah. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from that darkness. That's powerful. That is very, very powerful. <laughs> We didn't get permadeath though, so that's a thing. <laughs> or else I don't think we would have been here, honestly. Oh, I like the split between Hella. I mean, she has like the fiery ashes and the. Wait, what? Is it just me or does that look like Senua? Or maybe is that just me projecting? Did she become Hella? I'm sorry, I'm asking so many questions right now, but oh my god. <laughs> Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Senua. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day, a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Oh, she let him go. Oh no, I don't want to cry, oh no. <laughs> so sad. Oh no. She was her own darkness. She was her own hell. Leaves and clouds. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there. She was fighting against herself the entire time. This is where my story once began, and so it has to end here, because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. My friend, go with her. This now will be your story to witness. Oh my god. I know it's hard to tell how mixed up you feel. Hoping what you need. 
so we didn't actually have to fight Hella. Like, it was all of the, like, surrounding monsters that was in uh, Senwa's head. Sorry, I'm like an emotional wreck right now. Oh my god, I didn't think that I would cry that much. The part that I find absolutely beautiful that they tied together was the fact that she was Hella. She was, she was her own darkness. She was her own hell. She was her own, um... She was our own chaos that she had to get through, and they made that very clear and evident at the very end of the game. This is a powerful playthrough. Ugh, without this entire playthrough, getting to see how this game is built and everything, um, I'm just at a loss for words. I would recommend this game highly to anybody. It's not just a playthrough, like a video game that you would play. It's something that is cinematic it's something that's just breathtaking to witness in a lot of ways it's like a movie almost and you get to witness different pieces and different structures of how this character this person senua really is and she's very individualistic she has her own life and goals and dreams and everything like that and it just the way that they portrayed psychosis especially uh, schizophrenia in this it was beautifully well done the psychologist who worked on it absolutely did such a wonderful job on this and the fact that you know she said that we have another story to tell there was no major cliffhanger there was no anything that left it off um on a note that was weird or awkward or like oh i can't wait for this part or anything like that it was it was one of those things of where it was a natural progression and a natural story and then I, I just i can't wait for the next game to come out i cannot wait for hellblade to send a sacrifice because it's going to be something again i know is going to be absolutely beautiful it's going to be something where i know it's going to take my breath away just as this game did and it's probably gonna make me cry as well <laughs> you like dillian go at the end and you see that it wasn't you know hella letting him go it was it was her you know it, it that's i think one of the most powerful moments within the game and so let's keep in mind kids i did not get permadeath didn't get permadeath i did not die fully before the game ended i'm very happy about that <laughs> so it, it goes after the credits because you can't skip the credits or anything like that it goes back to the screen and it doesn't have a continue option it only has a start new game where you can start the game you can play over again experience it and it has the hellblade features which most of you guys know, if anybody who is watching this playthrough does not know, I have a degree in psychology, I've studied psychology for six plus years, and the way that they portrayed mental health, in particular psychosis, um, the type of psychosis Senoa does have is schizophrenia, uh, coupled with auditory and visual hallucinations, and uh, kind of, uh, these forms of delusions of hearing and seeing things that aren't true but you believe they're true because they they're so powerful and that's the thing of where they did such an amazing job explaining and bringing to an audience who might not have any experience with that type of psychosis and again i'm going to go all over all of this in the review that's going to come out but the fact that we fought the things around hella because hella is us you know senua was hella hella was her and the fact that she was fighting all of these things around her, it, it makes perfect sense because she was fighting, you know, um, Sirt, she was fighting uh, Fal Raven, she was fighting her father, she was fighting the the urge within her that are all of these lies or all of these truths. She was fighting just her memories of what she remembered of her mother because her mother had the same thing that she had. She has schizophrenia as well. And it's just, the game is so special. I'd never seen a game like this before of where each time I went into it, I was nervous, but also really just so overly excited about what was going to happen next because the story in this is so cinematic. It's so breathtaking. It's so diverse and rich in its context that I, I don't know. It's just it's something about this that I've, I've never really experienced before and I cannot wait for the next game to come out because it's going to be amazing to play but guys that was my playthrough of hellblade senoa's sacrifice that was that was an intense journey i still feel like i could cry right now honestly <laughs> it was the most perfect ending i think i've seen in any video game ever where it t completely does a 360 on us and it gives us something that we were not expecting at all whatsoever
you guys have better perception into games. I kind of, you know, try not to let myself expect anything so I can just enjoy the playthrough and the game for what it is in the context that it's presenting itself to me, if that makes sense. So I, in a way, I was like, okay, why is this creature, this thing, hella not a boss that we actually have to majorly interact with? And then it just, it, it hit me as soon as I saw that. I was like, oh my God, we're hella. Yeah, the review is going to be coming out next week it's going to be up for patreons first and then it's going to be out for the public the following few days and i you guys thank you so much for joining me with this playthrough joining me through this entire journey of hellblade thank you so much out there to ninja theory because they are just amazing creators of this game they are just absolutely stunning in what they do stunning in how they represent the uh the mental health community and wanting to go through things in a thorough manner and i really really respect that you guys the next game that we're going to be going over is doom i'm excited for this game okay it's my childhood again it's coming back and nope not doom eternal doom 2017 because i have yet to play that i've wanted to play it for a very long time and now i'm able to so be sure to look out for that but if you guys like my face and what i do please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below because i make videos every monday wednesday and double uploads on friday thank you guys again for joining me through this playthrough it is one of my favorite games now and one of my most cherished playthroughs i think i will ever have on this channel Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace.